Welcome back, everybody. And tonight, as you can see, we will be playing Hollow Knight. For we are the Yay. Hollow Knight. We are the Stuffed Knight. Streaming together. Heads full of straw and cringe. Alas! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I'm not, sh I'm not sure what happened. The stream's off to a running start. But anyway, yes, I have obviously... Hey. <laughs> yes, as you can see, I've got my uh, cheer button working now. Thank you, friend. Anyway, yes, I have never played this game before. I've seen a few friends stream it, most notably Roku. It looks really beautiful. It's obviously compared a lot to Dark Souls, and this is before pretty much every game in existence. Thank you, Octal. Don't mind if I do. Mm. This is before basically every game in existence got compared to Dark Souls, so I'm wondering if that's more in terms of the explorative gameplay or the difficulty or the way the story's pieced together. Let's find out, however. I'm, I've been meaning to try this for a long time. <laughs> Tea time, exactly. Anyway, yes, I don't know exactly what I'm getting into. Some platformers... Uh, uh, Fan mentioned that I, you know, I'm using a keep mouse and keyboard, much to his chagrin. Some platformers I don't have a hard time with KBAM. Some I do need to bust out the controller. We'll see if this is the case. Honestly, I was able to play through Toho Luna Nights without any difficulty. We will see if that applies here. Okay, so it's the story and the difficulty. Got it. Well, we'll find out. In the wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none can tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast, as they had never dreamed. From Elegy to Hallow Nest, by Monomon the Teacher. Alright. Anyway, yeah, good to see you all. Hope everyone's having a good night tonight. <laughs> Grin's just happy that the leaves crashed and burned. Oh, uh, you having a rough night, beggar? Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, that is no good. That's no good at all. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm gonna check on OBS real quick. Good, everything's showing up. Oh, shit. I was tabbing on something, and I hope I didn't accidentally skip something. Uh, let's see here. Alright, here we go. Yep. Oh, it's keyboard only. Interesting. So, left, right. Team Cherry, okay. Attack. There we go. Alright. Oh, I skipped some of the intro. Okay, nothing that important. Alright. Yeah, sorry. I was double-checking the... Because I moved some things around in OBS, and I wanted to make sure the stream over... The chat overlay was still there. Unfortunately, it looks like I skipped some of the intro. I apologize for that. Oop. Ah, thank you. Alright, white bug can jump. Excellent. Alright, I'm assuming I'm collecting bug money for a purpose here. Hey, Kirby. Yeah, that, that's the curious thing about this art style, is that we're... Oh. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Oh, collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold A to focus and heal. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, that's the interesting contrast to this game, because obviously we are going for kind of like a gothic fantasy... Oh. Hold A focus, thank you. 
Because, yeah, we're in, we're in a kind of, like, dark fantasy style, but it's done in kind of a... It's not quite cutesy in that sense, but we are looking at some very... Not very monstrous beings. Like, they, they aren't trying... Like, the... These bugs appear to have personality and distinction. That this character has a face, and it makes it makes him very easy. Uh, her, I actually don't know if it's a him or her. I never actually figured that out. A them, we'll say. But yeah, obviously it's a it's a style that's more charming than gothic. I might say. Little bug. They are adorable. Neither, okay. Uh, let's see. Oop. Alright. Okay, so I'm guessing that gives me... Okay, that's that's overhealing. Nice. So yeah, obviously not a lot of context to start with, as is common with games in the genre. And also, with, like, with good games in the genre, a lot of it is intuitive. Like, you know, we're collecting... We're collecting those just by having a sound, like, change that sort of... Com that communicates this is money, basically. So, yeah, collect as much as you can. And the idea... The overheal there, where you've got the health icon that's blue and it's slowly dripping out, that communicates that this is temporary. So there's, there's some nice design choices in the UI. Oh, uh oh, oh, ow, ow. Okay, no getting back up there. I'm guessing I'll unlock a double jump at some point. All right, I see spikes. That is not good. Ooh. Generally speaking, you need. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Alright, I'm used to... I'm still kind of used to the Luna Knight setup, which had attack on the left and jump on the right. I recall that anyway. I might be mistaken. Temporary health. Okay, yeah. Well, that's kind of what I meant, but yeah. Alright. All right, glowy bug hole. What do you got for me? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you will enter the land of King and Creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom, Hallow Nest. Okay, so that's where we're going. Uh, there's a secret down there, huh? Oh, I see. Hup. Nice. I mean, normally that would be the kind of thing you'd want to avoid. Alright, and I'm gonna guess that I can't cross this just yet. Cause yeah, I sort of uh hmm. Leap of Faith? No. Yeah, probably can't get there yet. That's alright. Spike jump. Like oh you could pogo over it. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> well, that wasn't being pogoing. Oh, you use your sword. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, that's clever. All right. Let me heal up. I'll give it the old college try. Okay. If you strike down, you can bounce off them. Same with enemies. Nice. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. Oop. Oop. Nope. All right. Hollow Knight, you got to be able to attack when I tell you to, my dude. Nice! Excellent. Good bug. Good. Nice! So that's gonna be fun. Alright. Alright, glowy bug portal. What do you got for me? Alright. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. Well, thank you. It's nice to be appreciated. Just be yourself, kids. Just like Frank Zappa taught you. Alright, what do we got here? Fury of the Fallen. Equip a charm to activate his powerful abilities. Okay. Okay, so I gotta get to a bench. But I got an achievement for that. Nice. 
Yeah, I see what you mean. That might be a little bit... That might genuinely be a bit easier with a controller. We'll give it a try, and if it proves problematic, I'll dig one out. Anyway, we have backtracked. Okay, yeah, I do appreciate that. Yeah. Obviously, if I am doing something especially unwise, feel free to correct me, and I will take some general pointers about the game as well. I do have a non-spoilery map guide I can fall back on if I look like I'm lost. Thank you, by the way, Branch, for that. But I will be... Tr I will try to be playing this as cleanly as possible. Yeah, I gotta find a bench for that. <laughs> oh, Bob Ross icon. That's awesome. Uh, right, we gotta go to Hollow Nest, I think. Knock, knock, motherfuckers! Alright. That was satisfying. So I'm going to guess there's not going to be anybody here. At least nobody that's willing to talk. Ooh, streetlights. Nice. Dirt mouth. Okay, the fading town. Okay, there is a there's a friendly bug here. Okay, so so we're doing kind of the uh, peanuts thing where there's no they aren't voiced but they do kind of a womp 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 thing. All right. Anyway, ho there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt a ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's sickly air that it's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad, and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't followed up on... Here we go, I'm not going to equip a charm. Yeah, the last time I googled about Silk Song, it hadn't... Uh, they hadn't updated the uh, release date. Bodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bearer's strength will increase. Okay, so it's kind of, uh, it's kind of in a rage mode. Got it. Alright. Everything seems intuitive enough. Because, yeah, obviously that is highly anticipated. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Yeah, I'll, I'm sure you'll get right on that. Oop. Oh, that's the well I walked into. Okay. Forgotten Crossroads. That is a good question. Red tear stone ball, huh? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So I can. So there's a lot of stuff that I can pass that's not quite in the foreground, but I can break and interact with. I like how I don't even know these things are hostile. I'm just attacking them because they're in my way. Let's not go that way just yet. Yeah, I've heard it's about uh, 100 hours. Depends what you want to do with it. Yeah, I I've heard tw it's about uh, 20 hours on the upper bound, depending on how thorough you are. Possibly a bit longer. I'm sure given that I am going in blind, it will take me a fair bit of time. Oh, ah! Give me your bug money. I'm down here for adventure. Alright. <laughs> so the blind man he picked up his hammer and saw quite. Uh right. 
Got a giant bug hall. Temple of the Black Egg. Nah, me no bees. All right. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. Oh, you know, sizes and everything. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries. One of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. The great stone egg, lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. This egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be open? There are strange marks all over it. Yeah, I'm going to guess that there are three things we collect and that opens it. Call it a hunch. I see set of... Oh yeah, I should heal. There we go. There's probably a couple different variations on that saying. Alright. There will be some random sword swings as I familiarize myself. Ah! There's like a fraction of a second delay between when you swing, when you attack, and when you're... Or, or when you press attack and when the attack actually carries out, then you gotta. There's timing involved, basically. Alright, Healy Juice from Smacking Enemies. Got it. Now somebody had something. What the hell? Oh boy! Okay, that's a... Uh... Oh shit. Oh, we got us a boss fight here. Shit! Oh hell! <laughs> well, there's the first death. Damn it! Cost me all my bug money. <laughs> Nail the timing. And braver among us went there to pray, said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. Yeah, maybe they got squashed by the giant bug with that, that was down there. Okay, yeah, so definitely getting the Dark Souls vibe and that here's the big enemy you fight that's kind of the... That's, in a sense, teaches you about timing. Honestly, yeah, that this is... Normally, I take issue with games that have kind of a limited color palette, but it feels like that's intentionally part of the style here, and they compensate by the sheer expressiveness and detail of the, the animation. The way everything around you moves and looks, everything is easily readable, everything you need to see is visible. Despite the focus on cool colors, it's very clear where your eye is meant to be drawn. Well, I mean more the focus that it's obviously on cool colors. Lots of blues, darks, purples, grays, that kind of thing. It, there, there might be a bit... This is just in the early game, obviously. It's probably going to be open up later on. Okay, hey! Oh, shit! No! Damn it! There we go. Alright! I got my soul back. Awesome! Okay, so we're back here again. We've got this big dude, this big armored dude. Alright. Okay, I note with some concern, he appears to have a wall of clubs behind him. This is something of an issue. Alright. I'm guessing this guy will probably try to run me out of room. I'll probably have to bounce over him. Hey, there we go. Nice. Hey, look at this little caterpillar friend. How you doing there, buddy? 
Oh, look at this cute little guy. I have no idea what I did, but I'm going to assume that's important somehow. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We're free to friendly caterpillar. We're the heroes. And yeah, point taken about the color palette. Obviously, the caterpillar was green. But even in the even in the blue area, as I will start to call this, it's very obvious what the what I am meant to be focusing on. It's not hard to make out the mission critical things about the UI, your characters, what things are moving around that you need to prioritize. It's a very very good looking game. <laughs> the caterpillar, yeah, yeah. It'll be a butterfly, but it'll be like an evil butterfly. Oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And when you're done, let's bury me too. This is very much a minor song. It's one of my favorites. You can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. Join in. I bet you have a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so what are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. Interesting. Well, keep on keeping on, Mila. I don't know why you're bothering with a pick. I'm just swinging this stuff with my sword. These things are coming right apart. Oh. Uh. Back down, Mr. Elevator. There we go. Let's see. Oh, no, not this hit again. Okay. Uh huh. I wonder if I can get a. It looks like the path dead ends there, so I'm assuming I. I'm assuming even if I get across that, there's nowhere to go but down. But fuck it, let's find out. Interesting. Huh. Alright, so it's not about to crumble and fall. Oh, it might be, uh... You, more like, uh, Metroid style. You need this ability to get this thing broken open. Uh-huh. Now, what's your story? Ooh, I can get soul from that. Nice. Aww. Yeah, that's one of the distinguishing elements of this from the souls comparisons, as I understand it. The more reliance on additional maneuvers and equipment to access different areas. Instead of just strictly combat ability. There might be more Dark Souls one thing. I never did play the rest of the series. Okay. Hell yeah, give me that bug money. I don't even know what I'm going to buy with it. But I'm going to buy so much of it. I note with some concern that the enemy bugs appear to have eyes in their sockets, and I don't. It's almost like I'm hollow or something. Interesting, yeah, so they kind of dropped that off afterward, or not as much of it. Fascinating. All right. All right, here's something glimmering. Let's take a look around. 
Hey, here's a caterpillar friend. Oh. Can I reach you and hit you in time? Hang on a second. Oh, I should probably heal up. <laughs> Eventually, I'll remember to do that. Uh, sit tight, caterpillar friend. Damn it. Oh. You even perked up a little when I got close. That's cute. All right. Don't worry, caterpillar friend. I will be back with whatever ability is necessary. Okay. This looks like a lower chamber from some other area I was passed earlier. There we go. Okay, so these appear to be some kind of mining platforms. I'm assuming these are like elevators or something that are meant to hold like the crystals out. Daisy. Okay, yeah, I think this was the... This is where I was earlier before I decided to go right and then I fought the big guy. <laughs> hey! Okay. Aww. Hey! Thank you, sir. Alright. So I'm guessing this is another check off the completion list thing he will be doing. Got to restore this caterpillar family. Fear not, elder caterpillar. God, that's adorable. I shall become a caterpillar of the community. Ha! <laughs> Alright. Hmm, that looks that looks novel and interesting. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's fall right past it. Zboing, zboing, zboing. All right, what's up with these here underground plants? <laughs> okay, the Pilgrim's Way. Travelers, travelers of Hallow Nest, descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Well, that sounds like a sweet deal that definitely doesn't have some kind of horrible downside. Oh boy. Uh. Okay. We have an angry barrier bug. He's spitting at us. Hmm. Okay, probably need some kind of ranged attack to hit him. Eh? 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 Ah. Keep on keeping on, barrier bug. We'll be back to do this later. It can be a bit tricky for me to get into a game where there's not a lot of context going in. And, you know, in a lot of cases, games like this, that's part of the appeal. It's, you're literally in a strange situation. Nobody's really there to tell you what's going on. Sometimes that works for me, and sometimes it can be a little obtuse. But so long as it's being communicated visually, that I have some idea what I'm looking for... Oh. Oh, I didn't think that would work. Okay, so I can... So if I jump up at the bottom, at the top of the screen, I can actually jump back up through a hole. That's nice. But anyway, yeah. So so long as I can intuit what I'm supposed to be doing, 
then usually it doesn't bother me too much having to piece together what the context is, what I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, this actually... Visually, this reminds me of Another World, also known as Out of This World. And that's another case where it's there's very little dialogue. Most of it you can't understand because you're on an alien world. And you have to kind of... You intuit what you need to do based on the context. Like, you obviously have your alien friend there, and he'll make, like, gestures and noises to communicate, listen, you should follow me, you should go down here. And it, you have to figure out what you can even do. Like how, to, like, how to defend yourself once you get a gun, how that works. Not a lot of it's explained. But in the because there's okay, I don't think I can make that jump. But because your range of actions is limited and your goal is very simple, survive and escape, it's fairly intuitive to figure out. Okay, good, yes. And honestly, that game did have a really good, uh, really good storytelling. It was very good at communicating to the player what was going on. Like when you, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, like early on in the prison, actually. Oh, stupid falling stalact. Is it stalactites or stalagmites? That's fall that are on the ceiling. I keep forgetting. But yeah, early on when you're escaping from prison and you're in with your soon-to-be alien companion. Like, you're in the cage and you don't really... You don't really know what you can... what you're supposed to do. You don't know if the cutscene has ended. But you can start swinging the cage back and forth and eventually the guard fires his gun. Oh, shit. And that communicates to you, hey, the guard doesn't like this. But also, that's the way out. So it's very good at communicating what you should do, provided you're willing to experiment. Mites go up, tights go down. Got it. So, stalactites. Everything respawns when you leave the rooms, so killing everything. Ha, leave you in an endless loop. Got it. Duly noted. Uh, I'm going to guess that I need a wall jump to get past this. Something tells me I can't... Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Alright, something tells me I need to keep going down. Alright, maybe this is someone we can talk to here. Maybe it'll be a big, horrible thing for me to fight. Excuse me, sir. Are you friendly? Are you a friendly bug? Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. Exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer tr by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Oh, hell yeah. Purchase a map? Don't mind if I do. Yay! I get an in-game map. Awesome. Alright, won't show you where you are. If you're not headed for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. Alright, that's fair. Just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth. Selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. Cool. Aw. Mm -hmm. I'll bet she is. Okay. So we are on the left. Where the our, our cartographer friend... What was his name again? Introduced. Oh, he didn't tell us. Okay. Cornerfer. Well, thank you. First hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. Well, that's not very responsible for of you, sir. Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With little luck, we'll meet again. Safe and farewell. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cornifer. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. So yeah, we don't know. We, we don't have a icon. We don't have an icon where we are yet, but obviously we're right near Cornifer on the left there. So that's helpful. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm. Do I 
want to jump over here. Only one way to find out. Okay, this looks dodgy. Of course I can't kill it. Hmm. I wonder. Ha 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 ha! Yes! Ick, ick, shit, ow. I think I shall. I'm gonna explore a little bit more down here, because I'm curious about this big room with the tunneling worms now. Oh boy, I'm going to assume that the liquid is not friendly to heroic sword bugs. Ow. Oh good, I hit it before it hit me. Got it. Hey! Oh, ow. Fuck. Okay. You might say, the point was made. Ha <laughs> ha! Now. Alright. Sit tight, Caterpillar brother. I gotcha. Aww. You're welcome, friend. I'm assuming I'll get some reward for doing this. But you know what? Freeing a friendly Caterpillar is reward unto itself. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Boop. Haven't yet figured out okay, I can just stand there. Haven't figured out how hard up I am, how hard up I'm going to be for cash yet. So, I'm in that do as much, kill as much as I can mode. And oh boy, that's not good. Ow. Oh! Oh boy. Oh, these guys. I, see, I thought the boss was going to be something else. So, no. We're going to face an escalating number of these guys. These weird little goo bugs. Come here, you. Ow! Oh, that's it? Well, I was all amped up for shit to go pear-shaped. Clearly, I misunderstood. Uh, this is a spirit spring. Nice. Leaving aside the uh, screaming mouths in the back. Okay, save point. Nice. Okay. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for these. Oh, do I have to do this again? Thank God, no. Okay.
Yeah, yeah, you can see that in the style of the place, in the foreground and the background. Like, right when we got to Dirtmouth, or whatever that town is named, I apologize for being forgetful, you're primed to see that this is... That this is an area that had been once te that had once been teeming with life, but is now abandoned. And yeah, now that we're down in the mines, there are these skeletal remains of bugs of varying sizes all over the place. As fits the style of Dark Souls, the life that had been here has come and gone, and now you're sort of picking through the decaying remnants of a once sprawling society. Uh, let's see. Which doesn't, of course, mean that it is not, not uninhabited. Just that it has been abandoned. Uh, I don't think I can reach that. Damn. Alright. So I think, yeah, we're down the bottom right corner. We might actually be off the map. Alright, what's up this way? Exactly, yeah. We're picking through the bones of something that had been... Something that had been, basically, and now is just a decaying ruin. Alright, there's another bench. Oop. A toll machine with a symbol of a stag. Insert Geo. Alright. So our currency has a name. There we go. Uh... Oop. Uh. Sorry, I didn't mean to destroy your st sign. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is like a transportation thingy. Like we'll get some kind of warp point access or something. It almost looks like a subway tunnel. Except in the, given the theme of this game, it'll probably be like a giant bug. Maybe it'll be a Silt Strider from Morrowind. That'd be awesome. Oh, I gotta hit the bell. Okay. I was wondering why the bell showed up, but I didn't see the interact thing. Haha, <laughs> it is a Silt Strider! Awesome! been an age since I heard the last ring of a station bell. It echoed that the stag weighs and called me to you. Okay, so it's a transport beetle. I'm stiff and tired of these many years and I've forgotten much. But the sound of the bell will always call me back. Alright, gonna travel them. Hail me from the platform. I'll take you where you need to go. Badass! Okay, so I, here we go. I can get back to town this way. Nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, ride that pony. Nope. Damn it. Elevator platforms in Doom or something. Or Quake. Yeah, that opens it up. Nice. Still Strider with a personality. Nice. Okay. <sighs> hey, Alcarada. there she is. It's Zelda. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. Aw. He'll pop back occasionally to, li to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I'm not much interested in retail myself. Well, no one is, but you gotta start the, you gotta start the climb somewhere. Alright. Highly recommended. Yes. Give me that compass, thank you. Alright. You'll need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. Okay, so we need that to expand the map, as it were. Cocoons are plenty, but delicate, useful as you're exhausted. Just need to find somewhere to sit. Okay, so we this there are various upgrades we get. We basically we basically get a legend by upgrading these things. Okay. Fascinating. Alright, back down we go. Actually, I should probably... 
I'll see here. Uh, do I need to equip that? Hmm. Let me check the bench. Okay, yeah, I was wondering. On the bench. Uh, what's the button to equip stuff? Got it. Thank you. Okay, so there's a limited inventory space, and okay. Er, yeah, limited number of notches you can use. Interesting. No, no, no. So far, it hasn't been too bad with the keyboard. We'll see if that holds up. We'll see if some of the the more problematic bosses require a different approach. <laughs> you know me. I like it rough. Now. Ow. Speaking of which... All right, so we go... Now, if I recall right, we went far right that way. I'm not sure it let us go down further. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> God, you know, it's... Like, most of my deaths were in that last episode with... Oh, with Marburg. I died 20 times in that section. And, you know, the bosses themselves are tricky if you're... If your armor is... If, if you haven't been keeping up with your armor and, you know, your weapon selection and your weapon skills aren't very good. But that fight in particular is just brutal. Like, it, it, you really should just abuse abuse the hell out of Chain Shot to bring Marburg down as fast as possible. Okay, I think... Right, right, okay, it was this way, and... Right, that's off the map. What I should probably do... Let's get enough money... Upgrade so I can expand the map. Oh, hey, ow. Fuck you, stalactites. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was here before. This dude looks familiar. Hey, Zero. Good to see you. Ow. My sword swing timing is one thing, but it's more the... Okay, I remember this area now. Right, yeah. We need to double jump before we can do anything in here. Don't worry, Caterpillar brother. I will free you. <laughs> Mines versus tights. How you say tights? Exactly. French, you say teats. Badly head. Okay. You know what? That is a good way to remember it. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. All right. Uh, down here. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to fill in these two things before they open, or possibly hit that more obvious lever down there. Damn it! I'm trying to remember. There was actually an indie game. I kind of think of it. It's not uncommon for. Oh, you again. 
But I'm thinking specifically of an indie RPG whose name escapes me at the moment, where cartography actually was a trainable skill, and the higher you got it, the more you could actually chart out basic features. Like, if you didn't have it, you basically got no minimap. The first level just did the outline, the second showed basic terrain, and so on. Okay, yeah, so I've been here before. Tights on top. Okay, that works too. I am not French, no. Nope. Predominantly Irish and Dutch in my background, with a little bit of Polish, and... Actually, I think that's basically it. Some... Some British should go back far enough, but that's about it. Basically, if I were any more white, I'd be transparent. Okay. Oh, I, I remember now. This is the... This, I think, is... Right, that's the Chamber of the Three Eggs, I think. Black Egg, that's it. Okay. Alright, so we're headed back this way. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go back and I will... I will go back this way. And I'll use our friendly neighborhood beetle transportation. The fifth beetle, as it were. <laughs> 